How to bend acrylic pipe perfectly. Step one, measure the inner diameter of your pipe. Mine is 18 millimeter and the outside is 22 millimeter. Step two, get a silicone rod that fits on the inside of your pipe. Mine is a medical silicone rod and it's exactly 18 millimeter. Step three, cut your silicone rod to length and then cut a taper at one side. Drill a hole through the tapered side. Step four, use a really strong string and thread it through that hole you just drilled in the silicone rod. I have noticed that bending a thin metal wire and using that as a kind of a needle really helps with this. Step five, here I'm putting some corn flour starch on the silicone rod to make it slide easier. You can also try washing up liquid or soapy water and that's all preparation done. So we can finally thread our silicone rod through the acrylic pipe. Put on some gloves and start up your heat gun. Step six, bending the acrylic pipe. Try to heat up the acrylic pipe as evenly as you can. You can adjust the temperature by moving the silicone rod closer or further away from the heat gun. And in my experience, the further away you are and the more patience you spend and the slower you do this step, the better the result. Once you feel the acrylic softening up, you can do your bend. I like to try to stay in the heat of the heat gun, but a little bit further away, constantly keeping the acrylic warm while I'm doing the bend and then removing the acrylic from the heat gun when I'm happy with the shape. So this was my first try and it's not perfect. You can see here, I let the heat go a little bit too far. So we have these ugly bubbles and the whole pipe is a little cloudy. I think it was because my gloves were really oily. So it was a stupid choice of gloves. The corn flour starch normally doesn't cloud my pipes, but for the second try, I wanted to use washing up liquid and clean gloves instead. Let's see how that went. For the second try, I went with a really tight radius. And as you can see here, I think I got greedy and went with a little bit too tight radius. The pipe looks clear though, no more cloudiness. And and I would recommend you to order more material than what you need for your project because you will have some failed pipes. Practice makes perfect as always. Okay, third time's the charm. Whoever said that perfection does not exist and that it's a fool's errand to pursue it did not look at my thumbnail picture in 4K resolution. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's a true pleasure to bend acrylic pipes so and now you have to make up a project just to be able to experience it. The reason why I'm bending so much acrylic pipe right now is because of the Marble Machine X. Here I'm using bent acrylic pipe for marble transportation, connecting the demagnetizer with the marble conveyor belt. And higher up on the machine, I've connected the outlet from the conveyor belt and the fish stair with the marble divider. And also the marble divider itself is made from bent PMMA pipe. I have just started to work on the most difficult acrylic pipe bending project of the whole Marble Machine X build. I need to connect the marble spreader that I built in plywood with these metal rails and all the pipes want to collide with each other. I need to find perfect routing for this to work. Here I'm working on channel 22, which is the last channel of the vibraphone. And there's a total of 38 channels, so I need to make 38 individual pipes. And I'm using a TIG filler rod to create a bend template to get a feel for what kind of geometry I need the pipe to be. Then I can use this bend template to create a general shape for the pipe. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on, what's this beauty? If you remembered, I found this stud welding CNC machine uh, that I thought was amazing. And I reached out to them and asked if they wanted to collaborate. And then something truly beautiful happened because you, the viewer, started to leave comments to HBS explaining why they should collab with me on the Marble Machine X. My favorite was that they should lift up an artist from the sunken cost vortex. <laughs> I went back to send an email to HPS and when I opened my email, I found an 
an email from HPS. That's thanks to all your comments. Thank you so much for sticking up for the Marble Machine X and thanks to HPS for being positive towards the project. I sent some requirements and they sent me this test piece. And I just want to show you how extremely precise this is. Here I'm using a micrometer, which is measuring millimeter. When you hear the first click of the clutch of the micrometer, that's when you should read your value. 18002. I'm actually measuring quite crooked, so if I had a place to measure more straight, we would get even better result. 19.015. This machine is down to thousands of a millimeter in precision. It's just so promising. 20.008. <laughs> Shout out to HPS. We're looking at using my manual programming pin system that I already built for me when I'm composing music for the Marble Machine X and then using this more sturdy, reliable, pre-programmed, precise, stud welding programming pin system from HPS for the world tour. So we can have the best out of two worlds there. I'm completely sidetracked in this video now. I'm just so happy about this prospect. Let's go back to some PMMA pipe bending, shall we? I'm using the template and creating the general shape and here I'm making a little mark so I can cut it to length and then I can open the marble spreader and see if the pipe fits and this first pipe actually fits perfectly you can see the marble is coming out there The first pipe is easiest, the consecutive pipes are going to be much more difficult because they have the problem of colliding with each other. And this is the moment where I realized I made three pipes and I have 35 pipes to go. <laughs> In situations like this where I need to do really repetitive work, which happens a lot on the Marble Machine Next due to its 38 channels, I keep myself going by repeating an inner mantra. It goes like this, world tour, world tour, world tour. <laughs> Uh, but seriously, I totally underestimated how time consuming it was to make these pipes. So over 8 hours later, I had managed to do 11 out of 38 pipes and had to call it a day. I will return to finish this task as soon as possible. But for now, I can just check the pipes I have made and they seem to work well. moment I felt like a vampire. It was like the marble showed me the way out of my studio and into the sun. I spent a lot of time inside my studios. I was 
so happy scrolling around with the camera. Listen to these frogs outside my house. This is 24 7. <laughs> this goes on. This is my apricot tree. I found the first apricot the other day. You see it? There. It's an apricot. It's so cool. And there's a huge rose here on the front of the house. I got my capsules here under the rose. He's having a good time there. It's like Ferdinand. Just smelling the flowers. <laughs> BBC Planet Earth got nothing on me. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and believing in the Marvel Machine X. See you next week.